So we're going to do another quick video real quick. This video is about the autoresponder. So we're going to show you the autoresponder and how to use the autoresponder. So the first thing you want to do is just create a new autoresponder. Give it a name. We're going to call it demo. And this autoresponder is for the demo. The main thing to keep in mind for the autoresponder is what this autoresponder concept is. So some of you guys know that have a concept of an autoresponder, what which is what we call campaigns, where you can go in and create your sequence, you know, email day one, email day two, SMS day three, SMS day four, etc. That's what we call a campaign. You guys typically call that an autoresponder maybe. So let's talk about our autoresponder and what it is. So you just go and create a new autoresponder. We created this demo autoresponder. So what we're going to do is now you can see the different aspects of this demo autoresponder. We have add auto response keyword, no response, and default message. So we'll just talk about all of these. Um, we'll configure this. We're going to fill out the default message. So if somebody sends me a text message, if somebody sends me a text message, by default, if I don't have a keyword auto response, I'm going to automatically reply back to them that it will take me a minute or two to get back with them. Okay, so if somebody sends me an incoming text message, then it's going to take me a minute or two to get back with them. So now let's add an auto response keyword and we're going to go in and do this. Who is this? What is your name? Who am I speaking with? Who are you? So all those good things. You got the you got the gist of that. We entered some keywords. These are the keywords in the incoming text messages that we want to match and we want to look for. So if we find any of these keywords, we're going to go in and reply with, this is John. How are you today? And then we're going to put in their F name. So this would be someone, let's say Mark sent us a text message to a phone number that we had this autoresponder enabled on, which we're going to show you in just a second. And he said, who is this? Then I would send him a, a message back instantly that says, this is John. How are you today, Mark? So now if I also want to include an action, maybe I want to delete this person or I want to copy them to a list or I want to move them to a list, I could also do that. So uh, I, let's go in and just copy this guy to this demo list right here. Okay, if I also wanna include a picture in my auto response, I can do that. So now I've got that, let's just do one more and uh, cost, price, fee, any fee, the fee, So you can also do the same thing, include an action. Now, I'm going to also include a no response keyword, and this is going to be my dirty words, okay? So I'm just going to add this dirty word. So... So now if I get this, if I get any message that has this no response keyword in it, I'm just not going to reply to that message. Even if I have an auto response or a default response, I'm not going to reply to that whatsoever. So now you see the auto responder and how it's set up. So now we've got this auto responder set up. So now what we want to do is just go attach this auto responder to a num number. So remember, we, I got that demo setup number. I'm going to come come here to its response configuration. I'm going to come back to this SMS configuration right here. I'm going to click here for the configuration. 
and I'm going to pick this auto response here. And then I'm going to pick from a list of my auto responders. This is that demo auto responder that I just made. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to send this guy out a text message. And that text message is just going to say, hello, who is this? Now I'm going to send him out from another number. So I'm going to send him out that text message from my phone. And then I'm going to come in and look here to be able to see, to be able to see that text message. So give me one second. Let me just send out this text message that says, hi, who is this? So I just sent that out. And now you can see that I don't have any message here. So why don't I have a message? Well, I, I can tell you that's easy. It's a common mistake you guys make sometimes. What you forget to actually do is enable this SMS configuration. So right now this SMS configuration is disabled. It's not enabled. So you need to enable that. So just make sure that it's enabled. So as long as you make sure that it's enabled, then that will work. So now what I want to do is I'm just going to send this. I'm going to send this message and it's going to say round two. Okay. So I'm going to send it from the same number. I'm just going to send out this text message. So just give me one second to send out this text message that says round two. So I'm going to just send that out from my phone number real quick. So I sent that message. So now I'm going to go look and check and see, look, I've got round two. I got that incoming message. You see that incoming message and you see it even recognizes that this is John Vaughn because, uh, he's already in here. So if you look now, he sent me a message. I don't know what it is. So I sent him back automatically this, this message. That was the default message in our autoresponder. So you can see that default message in our autoresponder. So I'm going to go back in and send another message that says, who are you right here? Who are you? but also includes this, this dirty word here that's in our no response list. So give me one second, I'm gonna send back this word and then who are you? Okay, I just sent that, uh, I just sent that out as you can see. So as you can see, he's not blue because he wasn't auto responded to. So, so I sent him out. Now I just sent out another message as well that says, who are you? And that one was auto responded to. So as you can see, what's happened is I've went in, see the who are you? The who are you is now blue because it was auto responded to. So you can see what the auto responder is doing is it's, I sent in round two that has no dirty word. And I do have in that auto responder, if you remember inside the auto responder, I do have a default message set up. So I saw that default message because I received an incoming message that doesn't have an auto response for it and also doesn't include a no response keyword. So I got that. I responded back out with my auto, with my default message. Then I got this message that does have this, this keyword that I'm listening for, but it also has this naughty word here. So if you remember that I have that naughty word here and that no response, that naughty word is right here. But then I also have the other keyword, who are you in my actual keyword list that I have an auto response for. So you can see that there was no message triggered out for that because it included that dirty word, so no message went out. But you can see they sent that thing that I have a keyword for. They sent that thing that I have a keyword for, and I auto-responded out to that that thing. So I believe I have, I believe I have one other keyword. So let's look at that, and I'll send out a message. I have Christ. So I'll just go in and send out a text message that says, what is the price of your service? So I'm just going to ask this person, what is the price of your service? I'm going to send out that text message and <coughs> I've got this auto response here. 
that says price. I also see people are starting to respond to my Facebook ad. So uh, I've got this that says price. So I'm going to go look at that. And then I'm also going to send myself out just another message that is random. But let's look back here. And I can see what is the price of your service. So I auto-responded back out to him. Now, I was a little confused for a second, and you guys may be confused as well because there's these two other messages here. And I know what, what's happened here is I asked that guy, what is the price of your service? And he, he, re, he responded out, get started for, you can get started for free. And I know that this phone number right here, uh, I know that this phone number right here is this this phone number right here, this John Vaughn. I know that this phone number is another phone number in this platform, and it also has it's in a in a different user account, and it also has an auto responder. And if you look at its auto responder, it's got the keyword free. And if you send that keyword free, it says, "Hey, I'm going to set you up a free account." So that's what's actually happened here is that I asked this guy, what is the price of your, your service? He responded back to me with free. And since he responded back to me, then the phone number he's responding back to me has its own autoresponder set up and it's got a keyword for free. So since he sent me back that keyword, I'm going to go in and auto respond back to him with that auto response. So now he's responded back to me, that autoresponder responded back to me and he sent my default message that says, hey, wait a second. So you can see that this is blue because it's been auto-responded. It, it's been auto-responded to. So so you should now understand the auto-responder. You can see all it does is read your incoming text messages, just like this one does in another account. This one goes in and this is affiliate info. So this one goes in and looks for text messages that are coming in and keywords inside there. And if it finds matches those keywords, it will trigger back out this message. And it will trigger it out for every set of keywords that it that it meets. So if you have two keywords, if you have two keywords in here, let's just do that. One, you have to add that. This is message one, and then let's add two. So now I'm going to go in and send that guy out a message, can I see message one and two? So I just sent him out a message that says, can I see message one and two? I just sent him a message and you see, here's my incoming message that I just got. Can I see message one and two? You can see he's blue because he was auto responded to. And now you can look and see message two and one were sent out to him. So he was responded to with both of those guys. So. Now you can see how the autoresponder works. It really saves you a lot of time because you can go in and automatically respond to people as they're sending you text messages. And that's great, obviously, if you're going to go in and you're going to queue up a thousand people or 50 people or however many people and send them all out text messages in bulk as they start replying to you. You can obviously automatically respond back to them so that you don't have to physically do it. Your autoresponder can do it and you can focus your time on responding to messages that you don't have generic answers for already because they're such common incoming messages. So that's how the autoresponder works. This was a little longer video, but this one's done and we'll move on to the next.